Did you know there's a very simple way you can sync your retro games and your saves across multiple devices? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hadouken! We'll be syncing between a Windows PC running RetroArch and an Ambernic RG552 running Android and RetroArch. We'll use this handy little program, Sync Thing. We're going to sync games, saves, and save states. Let's get started. First, we download Sync Thing from SyncThing.net. I recommend selecting the Sync Trezor option as it provides a nice user interface. This will take us to the GitHub page where we can download the 64-bit setup file. Execute the setup file and follow the prompts. Leave launch checked and sync thing will open as soon as we're finished. You can respond to these two prompts however you see fit. I'm the only one that's going to be using the GUI so I don't need a username and password. We can delete this default folder, we're not going to be using it. And now we want to add a folder, and the folder we want to add is in the root of your RetroArch directory. It's this saves folder. Go ahead and copy the path, and we're going to paste it into this box. We're also going to give our folder a label. I'm going to call it Retro Gaming Saves, and then go ahead and hit save. Now add another folder. And this one we're going to point at our RetroArch folder, but this time the states directory. I'll copy the path, and again I'm going to paste it in here into the folder path. I'm going to give it a label. I'll call this one Retro Gaming Save States. And now we can save this sync folder. Now I'm not going to sync all of my ROMs over to the RG552. In a previous video, I shared with you that I only like to play two or three games at a time that I focus on. So I'm going to create a folder called Currently Playing that will be in my main emulation directory. And a little later on, I'm just going to add those two or three games that I'm currently focused on to this folder. While I'm at it, I'll copy the path. I'm going to add another folder. I'm going to paste it here in the folder path. And I'm going to call this one Currently Playing. And once again, we can save this sync folder. So now with all my folders in place on my Windows machine, I want to install sync thing on my RG552. So I'm going to open the Play Store, search for sync thing. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and install. Once it's installed, I'll go ahead and open it up. I'm going to grant it permission to access my storage and also to access location. It's also going to ask if it can sync in the background. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to do so. Even though this does drain the battery a little bit faster, I want to keep all my saves and save states up to date at all times. So just like the desktop app, I really don't need this camera folder, so I'm going to delete it. And now I want to grab my device ID. And you'll notice it's super long, so what I recommend that you do is just copy it and either email it to yourself or put it in keep notes. Whatever you have to do to avoid having to type it in manually, because that's very tedious. Back on my Windows PC, I'm going to add a remote device and here's where I'm going to paste in the device ID from our RG552. I'll give it the same name, RG552. I'm going to hit save. Now I select the remote device, the RG552. I'm going to go down to edit, then the sharing tab, and I'm going to share or put a check mark next to each of the folders that I created earlier, and then save. Now what I'm going to do is move the games that I want to play on the RG552 into that currently playing folder that I made earlier that's going to sync with the RG552. And now back on my RG552 I have this notification asking me if I want to accept the connection from my desktop PC. I'll hit accept and then add. 
Once I have added my desktop PC to sync thing on the RG552, I'm gonna get three other notifications. One for each of the folders that were shared. So I'm gonna go into each one and point to the folder that I want to synchronize with. So my main RetroArch folder, I'll point it at the save states folder and then tap create. One down, two to go. Now I will add the currently playing sync folder. In my main RetroArch folder, I'm just gonna create a new folder called currently playing. I can then select that folder and create the share. And finally, I'll accept the share invitation on this last folder, which is the saves folder. I'll go ahead and select it, accept, and then create. So here's the three folders that were created. And as you can see, they're syncing now with my desktop computer and my RetroArch files there. Now let's open RetroArch. I'm going to go to import content. I'm going to scan directory and I'm going to scan that currently playing folder that I just created. So by now since the syncing is on my local area network my games, my saves, and my save states have all transferred over to my RG552. So now let's test it out. I'm going to open Batman for NES. Play for a little bit here. I'll create a save state and exit out. I'll jump into Batman on my RG552. I'll do the load state hotkey and here I pick up right where I left off on my desktop. Just to show that it works for SRAM saves as well, I'll start a brand new Super Mario World file. I'm going to play to a point where I can save my progress to the SRAM and then I'll exit. Now I'll open it up on my RG552 and you can see the save synced over. I can start right where I left off. Pretty sweet. So here's a few points to keep in mind. Number one, for save states to work, you need to be using the same core on all your synced devices. If that's not possible, then number two is important. SRAM and memory card saves tend to be more compatible between cores, so you might want to make more use of those. This isn't always the case though, so if in doubt, be sure to check the documentation for the cores that you use. And finally, SyncThing is available for more than just Windows and Android. It's also available for Mac and Linux and other platforms as well. It's open source and can be used in many different applications. Be sure to check it out. It's a cool program. That'll wrap it up for this video. Happy gaming, my friends.